Alright, nice meeting you, dude. Okay, nice. Double mics this time. Okay, sweet. Okay, see ya, Alex. Man, I feel like beating some drums with these double mics. Okay, anyways, we have Brian Ward versus Nun here. You know, kind of expected. But, you know, it's always a classic scene these two guys play. Um, I think Ryan has a winning record against Nun at the moment. So it's going to be interesting to see how both of these guys play the matchup. And it's always great because, you know, it's Captain Falcon versus Fox. Who doesn't like that matchup? And most likely it's going to be Battlefield again, right? Oh, FD? No Battlefield? Oh, oh, I guess they don't really mind. Does anyone want to commentate with me? Hmm. Frog, don't hurt me, please. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we're going to go to Battlefield again. Which is pretty nice. So, I'm assuming um, Ryan's playing Fox and for sure not playing Gamp, Captain Falcon. So, here, Fox is going to start at the bottom. Yeah, it seems like whenever Nun faces against, like, uh, Ryan, he just, like, really controls his, like, Ryan's zone in, like, weird ways. Like, he'll go in obscure, pa like, weight or areas where, like, Ryan will jump into, and then, like, ooh, Ryan will, like, he'll get, he'll punish Ryan. Nice jump by, um, a nice edge guard by Ryan to take a sock lead there. Ooh, w Ryan Ford with a good wall on the backer there, but, um... Nine ending good thing a little bit of a hit there. And now it's the even game. Like, what I'm also noticing is, like, Nun plays really, really aggressively and proactively as well. He's not playing, a, like, an aggressive and a reactive game. He's playing a proactive game. He'll, he'll, he'll try to force, like, Ryan into doing bad options or going into odd spots. And he's just playing a, a lot of good pressure on um, Ryan, but in, like, non-traditional ways, which kind of screw him up. Nice back here, though. Oh, almost an edge cancel on that side B by Ryan, but it's okay, though. He still makes it onto the stage. Nice trade with the back here and the neutral air, though. We have Farizis. What's up, Farizis? What's up, Farizis dude? in the house. I play this game. Home slice, boys. So I know what's going on. Okay. That was a nice gentleman, though. Dunn always getting those consistent gentlemen's knockoff. Um, the opponent. Nice knee by Nun to, like, get it. Get oh, wow. It. This audio delay is pretty bad. <laughs> it's okay. I sort of learned how to deal with it. Yeah. It's okay, though. But anyways, Nun with the neutral off the stage. Like, he gets those consistently, and those are hard to do sometimes. Like, immediately neutral off the stage. Like, most people, th what they do is they up there off the stage immediately, or like they'll knit, uh, knee off the stage immediately, off the legend stage immediately. And Nun with the uh, smash the eye there. Nice movement by Nun. And that's one thing about Nun that's like, most people don't realize. He just has such good control of his character. Like, he'll move him in like ridiculous places really quickly. Yeah, it's incredible. Like, he, he can be on one side of the stage and then he can combo you onto the other side, like, in one jump. Like, what? Yeah, like, what and, he'll combo, and he'll use his movements to, like, combo you in stupid ways that still works. Yeah. So, you, like, you mess up your DI really hard and he just gets even easier combos. Yeah. Or, like, he knows how to, like, combo against it, right? Depending on your DI. Like this one time I was playing against him and he yeah. jumped on one end of the battlefield to the other and got a guaranteed spike. Like what the hell, right? Yeah, and like, he's like, I asked him like, did you know that was gonna work or did you just like go for it? He's like, no, I knew. Like, yeah, I've seen like, that happen before. The, the thing is, is like, although none's like, you know, it's <laughs> it's none. Sometimes he's <laughs> oh, like, oh no, oh that was a little bit. Okay. That was okay though. All right, but yeah, so. Ryan ended up SD there. Like, yeah, sometimes none will. Sometimes none just feels like he's like, you know, that jolly guy, but like, no, he's actually really, really smart about like what he's gonna do. Yeah, he's uh, very, very intelligent and in making the right decisions. Yeah, he just like knows what option is the right option. And that's one thing that differentiates like, I guess him from like, most Gamp Falcons. Like, he just knows what to go for. It. Oh my god, that was a little bit close. Uh, S Ryan Ford almost SD'ing there. Oops, my bad. Oh, oh, close to a down smash again. Like, Ryan's, Ryan Ford's been going th for those, but none no, knowing preemptively that Ryan Ford's gonna go for those, he ends up up being, doing an up B reverse to move his hitbox behind and away from the stage, so he still gets a grab. Oh, uh, okay. Cause like, yeah, one thing, one thing weird about like, Comp Falcon's up B is like, 
at the apex of his uh, up B, his hitbox is, is a lot. His protrudes out from his hurt. Uh, his hurtbox protrudes out from the hitbox, so he can still get gimped. Yeah, which is the dumbest thing in the world for kind of And Ooh. that's why sometimes it's better if you can to just air dodge back onto stage, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but usually it's always good to practice those reverse up B's off the stage, so you can grab the ledge and sweet spot properly. Yeah. Because when you do reverse it, the, the hurt box that would be easy to hit is actually and facing away from the stage. Yeah, right? and right. that's and that's why you want to reverse those up Bs. Okay. Um, of course, though, as if you don't get the sweet spot on the up B, then reversing it will actually make you fall to your death immediately because you can't grab the ledge because you're turning away. Nice jump by. Oh, oh that almost an edge guard, but yep. he made it just back. Yeah. Wow, none with an amazing like. Movement and control over his character to like make. I, re like I really like how he SDI'd and DI'd away that one jab. Yeah. That could have been an up smash. Oh yeah, that's true. That's one thing I I haven't actually completely noticed, but now that you told oh me. Oh my god. Yeah, it makes sense. Great um great down air to like up B into knee combo though. And he gets those consistently too. Oh my god, jab reset. Like that's one thing like most other people don't do. They like stop. They don't stop and then jab reset you immediately. Yeah. He does that. Like and that's because like none practices it, or none just knows it because he's been playing for such a long time. It's become engraved into his brain that you know to do it all the time, right? Oh yeah, that's or true. Or in the right situations. Oh. Oh. Oh, Ryan for just a little bit too like aggressive there, and ends up getting like almost stopped for it. And one thing I noticed that none likes to do a lot is just sometimes standing neutral air or re retreating neutral air. Yeah. And he'll like. He'll like beat out some of um, Ryan Forsyth. Oh wow! Great shine that was to really shine quick. to him. Yeah, the footsies between these two players are phenomenal. Yeah, that's gonna really. Be it. Mm -hmm. Great footsies. Yeah, especially by Nun. Ryan, I feel Ryan. What what he's doing to play any against Nun is like he'll try to like zone him out like intelligently. And that's and but the thing is like Nun just because of his superior movement, most of his uh, most of Ryan Forsyth's like walling and pressure ability isn't like there. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, like, you see Nun like walking around the stage like cra like mad crazy, and Ryan Ford's trying to like wall Nun out. Oh, but side B. That's what you need to do when you're Falcon, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. But the thing is, like, oh, that was a good. Okay. Yeah. That was a good back there. But like, the thing is, what Ryan Ford might need to do is like, um, just pressure a little bit more where Nun is, maybe. But, but you, you run the risk of, uh, you know. Oh you, yeah, you do run the risk of getting of the, punished, right? Of getting punished, but that, that's the thing. It's a risk versus reward type of thing. And that's right? what footsies in this matchup is. Uh, is very important. good for Fox because if he gets a, uh, oh my if god, if he gets in, then it's oh my god, very bad for Fox. Oh my god, wow, that was wow. crazy. Like, Nun just double stomped, uh, tomahawk up throw up air to knee. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What and do you even do? Leap. What can you even do? You just gotta tech it, man. You just gotta tech yeah. it. And, and like, none just reacting to all of like Ryan Ford's tech. It's ridiculous. Oh. Okay, so he was fading back a bit, expecting maybe a roll. Ooh. Randall with the sa save of the day. Sometimes you don't want to land on Randall, like you oh, want to yeah. go down and then like a sweet spot and up B or something, right? And one thing I've, I've seen tr people try to do, though fail <laughs> incredibly hard, is actually let's cancel your recovery off of Randall. Uh, that's and a bit it's risky. And possible, yeah. it's possible, but it's like the next 20XXX, X, uh, 20 triple X, I guess. And like everyone memorizes yeah. a timer when Randall comes out on what side? Oh yeah, if people can do that consistently though, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah. And they use that to their advantage for combos. Like, oh my god, look oh, at this. Great stomp to up air to back air to knee. Ooh, crouch cancel shines though. And that's there, gonna be it. There that's you gonna go. Be a stop. Yeah, one thing Nun's got Nun's a little bit sometimes like do, does a bunch is like he'll he'll like jab to tomahawk you, right? Yeah. I mean not tomahawk to like gentleman you. But like Ryan Ford will crouch uh, Nun when he like misses it up, and he does get shine for it. And in that case, he got he got a stop there. Ooh, weird. Oh, whoa, that was a little bit close. A little yeah. bit wonky and close, though. Nun really needs to be careful not to get zero to death by shines, like mm -hmm. that third stock. And there you go, Nun takes it 2-1. All um, right. Like, I, I, like I that stage was just better for Nun. I think it's actually. winner's final, so it's going to be maybe best of five? Oh, yeah, it's for sure it's going to be best of five. Yeah. All right, so...
Game three was, uh, was none. Yeah, and we're going to have Ryan here go on Found of Dreams. Ooh, nice, nice, great edge guard by um, Ryan Ford here. And that's almost like a zero to death. Wow, look at him great. go. Great. He could have done any other option, but yeah. he wanted. He really wanted that try. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Ford, Ryan Ford covered all of Nun's multiple recovery options there, and almost literally zero to death, soon, which is great. He wanted to go with the bleep bleep. Yep. And like, you know, you know what can have Falco do? His recovery is just not good. Yep. It's doo doo. Nice up throw. Whoa! Side B cancel. I guess Ryan Ford knew he was gonna like mistake, do a mistake there, and he ends up like saving his butt. Yeah, out of all the top tiers in melee, I think Captain Falcon is the one with the worst recovery. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Then I'd say it's Sheik. Sheik? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, she, like, she, yeah, she's invincible, but like, ooh, nice up air, but like, it's so pretty short and predictable sometimes. Yeah. That most characters can punish it. Like, Jigglypuff punishes it really hard. Because she's the only one that can really be given. Uh, she's one of the characters that can really be given, like, Sheik really well. And I think, uh, another, the next one would probably be, uh, Falco? Yeah, probably Falco or Marth, actually. I was, yeah, I was thinking which one of the two, but I say Falco because Marth has like a hitbox that can kind of protect him. Oh, yeah. But that's Falco's, true. it's very easy to just like go down there and smack him away. Yep. Nice edge guard by uh, Ryan for here. It's covering all of Nun's options, and there's not much Nun can do, right? Yeah. But it's a sock lead for Nun, I mean, for Ryan here. Great movement by Ryan, knowing what, that Nun was going to neutral her and approach. So Ryan for dash back, dash dance back. <laughs> I can imagine Found of Dream is really messing around with Falcon's movement. Oh, yeah, that's true. But the thing is, it's still not a bad stage for Cap Falcon. It's just Cap Falcon has to get used to the weird lead, um, platforms, but it's still definitely a good stage for Cap Falcon. Nice dash dance to confuse where Ryan needed to um, move away after he, was, uh, he fell down. Oh, really Ooh. nice knee. Expecting the Ryan Ford to run in. Oh, nice down tilt, though. Knowing that none was probably going to like DI away. Oh, that needs fun. to be careful not to get jabbed because oh. that will lead into an up smash really kill. Close. Oh, oh going in for the deep kill, but going too deep. Oh my god, deep. no. <laughs> too deep, man. Too yeah, deep. super, super deep. That was so close. All right, so we're going to game five? Game five. That was like, if if none ended up uh, edge guarding on the stage, though, that would have been a lot more better. Like, he could have just, like, soft need, I feel, Ryan, Ryan there, and it would have been fine. Or he could have just stayed on the stage and like edge guarding I didn't catch what happened at the end with uh was Ryan Ford trying to do an up B back to stage? Yeah and then like uh, uh, I think soft need him or something like that. So what oh. he should have done was maybe like try to get hit by it and then up B, right? No 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 but here's the thing. Well did it happen before yeah, he already hit him? Like not Ryan Ford was deep on the bottom left of the stage. Yeah. But none I think soft need him somehow. Ryan Ford still lived. Ended up up being and like none just uh then try to recover. Yeah. But like, Ryan Ford went up, so you, so none want to get hit. But like, still, it's kind of too far for him to make it work, though. Yeah. So I feel like Nun should have done something else. Oh, and uh, great! And right there, he was trying to go for that sweet spot, right? But yeah. He couldn't but, get it. But the thing is, uh, as you saw there, though, the position of um, Captain Vulcan's hitbox, I mean hurtbox, is above him. That's yeah. why he can still get down smash. And if he wasn't far enough where the down smash wouldn't hit by Ryan. Yeah, because that's why he got down smashed. You can go really far, and then for some reason, Falcon has crazy momentum, like at the towards the end of his up uh, B, right? Yep. So he can like quickly make the turnaround to snap onto the ledge. Yeah, or and and or make like this the, the right sh the shift to like closer to the stage. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, I think that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard when there's like a lot of things happening here. Yeah. Nice try to get by a Ryan Ford, and there's 42-0. Ooh. Nice neutral there. Late neutral. Oh, good stop. And great tech by Ryan Ford. Yeah. But I think that's going to... Oh, that's not going to be stock. Wow. Great recovery. But, uh, oh, SD. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, Ryan just messing up a little bit. That's spaghetti. okay, though. Please no spaghetti made by Uni, Unico tomato sauce, though. That's, that tomato sauce is not good. Have Ryan you ever Ford tried Unico tomato sauce, though? What's this? Unico tomato sauce? Unico tomato sauce? Yeah. Not I, good. Oh man, I don't I think I can remember the last time I had it. I remember having it when I was a kid. It's not good. But as a kid, oh, I don't yeah. remember what tastes good or what not. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Like, I, I used to not like olives, but now I love them. Yeah, olives are amazing. Yeah. 
but not when they're too salty. I, I also used to hate avocado. But avocado's awesome. I, yeah, but now I love it. Yeah, because avocado milkshakes. Man, I was a stupid little kid. How can I hate avocado? You can't hate avocado. You can't yeah. hate clam pumpkins either, right? Avocado's so smooth, just like just like Edgar's movement. Yeah, Goodness. that's true. Oh my god. And his combo game as well. But like, you know what? Ryan and his getting Ryan combo his game. Smooth move, his Mario smooth move too. Yeah. Oh, down. Right. This Ooh. is like a sandwich from Cultures, man. <laughs> I've never tried Cultures. I'm sorry. It's, it's kind of too expensive, though. It though. is. It's not worth it. Oh, my God. Just get the ingredients yourself and make a sandwich at home. Yeah. Okay, so that's an even stalker. Ooh, up smash. Ooh, a little bit too late. Um, I think it's early with the up smash, and uh, Ryan ends up like, uh, I mean, none ends up teching it at on the right time. But really dangerous neutral game here. Um, Ooh, right, oh, messes up stop. a little bit and like none appropriately punishes it with the down throw, but it ends up messing the follow up. Ooh, odd forward smash. I'm not too sure what Ryan, I mean, what, what uh, none was trying to do there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Oh man. And Ryan Ford takes it 3 2 to win the set. All right, good stuff to Ryan Ford. He moves on to grand finals, and we're gonna see none waiting for his. Uh, uh -huh. Either his uh, downfall or his victim in losers finals. losers finals. I felt like none there was just playing a little bit nervous though. Both players are actually playing quite nervous there because they made a lot of technical mistakes. Yeah. Maybe it just got ner maybe nerves got to them. 